Hi, this is Matt with Big Kaiser Precision Tooling, and here I'm going to demonstrate the assembly procedure for the Series 315 TWN rough boring heads. And first we'll go over assembling the head to the shank. So we have the, the CKB modular connection, which uses a single tapered set screw to lock the head down. And the important thing to note is when you're tightening this down, to kind of wiggle the head back and forth as you're tightening that screw to make sure that it centers in the piloted hole of the connection. So once you have that tightened down, now we can assemble the insert holders. For TWN, the insert holder pairs are uh, um, identical, so there's not a, a tall and a short like with Series 319. These, had, these insert holders are identical for balance cutting only. And you'll want to make sure to wipe off the surfaces, uh, the ground surface of the boring head, as well as the insert holders. When they come out of the packaging, there's usually some pretty heavy oil on them, so it's a good idea to wipe those down. And it's basically just assembling the holders on. And tightening down so they can still slide, slide a little bit, but have a little bit of tension on there for presetting. Now the adjustment is done with the set screw that's installed in the insert holder. So as you can see I'm turning, turning the screw and that is uh, making the adjustment. It's pushing off on this shoulder bolt. The head of the screw is flattened so you cannot back it out of the insert holder. It's been deformed on purpose so that it cannot um, come out of the insert holder while the tool is rotating. So if you ever do need to replace these, you need to um, thread it forward and take it out in the slot. It won't, it won't come out on the outside. So once that's installed again, make sure you tighten it down with just a little bit of tension and then you can make your size adjustment now in this case we're only we only have adjustment in the positive direction. If you overshoot your diameter, you'll have to loosen up the clamping bolt and, and kind of start over. Also note that there is a um, there are setting markings on the bottom side of the insert holder. So if you're presetting the head in the spindle on a vertical machine, you can use those witness lines to um, gauge the diameter and, and get the holders matched. To the same diameter but it is a lot easier on a tool presetter and once those insert holders are set go ahead and clamp the uh, insert holder down to the head and then for the inserts we do have uh, torque breaking wrenches now where you can tighten down to a specific torque and then the handle will break at the specified torque value so you're not over tightening your insert screws. The coolant ports are adjustable. You can take a small wrench and move the coolant flow back and forth so that it's shooting directly at the cutting edge.